Hi everyone. So in this session, we are going to create this sketch over here in Creo. So let's start. So first of all, I'm going to create a new file. So clicking on new part and then it's a solid. So I'm giving a name as model one and uh, the unit it is in a millimeter. So I'm unchecking this use default template, then click OK. Then we need it in millimeter part solid. So click OK. So now uh, this is the 3D model it will look like. So I'm going to start from scratch that is first the circle. So if you see over here the circle is having a dia 80. So selecting front plane, clicking on sketch, and then select a circle, click on center point, place it here escape and then select and then give the diameter so it is having a diameter 80 then press enter so then click ok so i need to extrude it so to total distance that is 20 so click on extrude so extrusion distance is 20 press enter click ok so once it is done so we need to create uh, the necessary cuts to create it like this so first of all uh, it's having a hole that is having diameter 18 so instead of creating a separate extrude cut I'm just creating a sketch over there in the first future itself so giving the 18 so automatically it will form me like this so once it is done we can create this cut over here so over here so they have given it has to be come from the top face so I need a line and it has to touch exactly on this dab 40 so clicking on circle center point make it and then give the diameter as 40 then create a line from here to here exactly vertical and then mirror it with respect to center then give the dimension between this and this so that is nothing but 12 this distance is 12 they have mentioned so give that distance and then I need this to be close so you can directly come over here project select this close so I need only this portion so other than that or not you can trim it off like this click OK and uh, make a single cut so I'm going to remove material change the direction and it is going to remove uh, up to here so that is nothing but 9 mm click ok so now we can make this hole so click on this face over here then you can go to directly hole option so it is m6 so go to standard and then iso click on this select m6 cross 1 or 0.75 or anything because they didn't specify what is the pitch and then it is going up to last fine i need to specify the placement so now it is located in a diameter that is pcd 62 so click on here select diameter option click over here so we need to specify the axis under plane hold control and select the plane and axis so hole created i think we need to edit there because I didn't specify the diameter and angle exactly 0 degree then click OK so it is created now so now hold control and select both extrude and this hole and then go to geometry pattern and then click over here click on axis so select the axis I need three items along 120 degree then click OK. 
so automatically the object will get parted so next we need to make this cut over here so for this same select the top face click on sketch so if you see over here it is connecting same the outer circle click on the circle option click over here and then make the circle having 62 diameter and one more thing we need this edges uh, so I just created like this then a line just tangentially over here and a straight line and here also it need to be tangentially touch so click on tangent select this and this so it is already tangent then give the angle between this and this that is nothing but 60 degree so this is fine so just convert this to a construction mode fine so now you can create this circle so clicking on circle just select the line and it has to be 30 degree so for giving angle I'm just creating a construction line and then give dimension between this and this that is 30 so we need this outside so click on project select this and this this also and we can mirror it so trim it off this we don't require this we don't require this this fine so now select all these things by holding control then go to mirror select the axis object will get mirrored so here also we need to create the same clicking over here just create the circle exactly equal to that and then trim it off so I think this extra also I need to trim it off fine angle everything is fine but I need to specify what is the angle of this sorry radius of this so you can give radius 6 I think the tangential relation got broken so click on tangent select this and this so now it won't move so here also click on tangent select this circle and this line fine then click ok so now we need to make a cut the cut is having 12 mm depth so click on extrude remove material reverse direction then click ok so we need to remove this metal also so select the face and create a circle as your sketch so that is having a diameter 40 because already we know it is 40 click ok extrude same thing remove material below but that one is having a depth of 10 mm So still we need to create this hole so click over here go to hole so standard ISO and it is going up to last and uh, it is M8 so 1.25 I'm giving so same placement click on diameter click over here select the axis and then the plane so it is also having a PCD 62 and angle 0 so then click OK automatically it will create like this so we need to make 
this cut over here for that we need to make use this dimension so just I'm creating over here so I'm selecting this plane click on sketch so it is like a rectangular shape so click on rectangle and create one uh, first make symmetry with respect to the center axis and then give the dimension this one is 18 they have mentioned and the height is 3 then from here to here it is 2.5 click ok and then go to extrude remove material up to last click ok so the same thing has to come over here and here so we need to make a pattern of it with respect to axis select the axis and mention 3 and then give the angle as 120 then click ok so create it so still we need to make this holes so that hole is having m5 as dia so same thing click over here uh, not a sketch we need to use hole command so click on hole standard iso it is m5 0.8 i can give so it is going up to last same it is also going up to last same we need to specify with respect to diameter 28 so click over here select the axis hold control and select the display so angle 0 diameter 28 then click ok so that hole also has to be patterned with respect to axis number of items 3 and 120 degree so that is also has been created still we need to make only one thing that is the chamfer so go to chamfer so it is 1 cross 45 click on 45 D and give the distance D as 1 so I think over here we need to make hold control and select where and all you need to make so holding control choosing this edge this this, this one this one this one and I guess the hole is still not pattern so we need to make a pattern of it so I can use the same pattern what I have used so click on dimension So still this hole has to be patterned. So click on hole, then click on pattern, axis, choose this one, then go to 3, 120 degree. So now chamfer, angle 45 degree and 1, and then choose the edges holding control and selecting the edges where the chamfer has to create then click ok so the drawing has been completed so you can do this patterns by using geometry pattern in a single set also so you can try that way if you have any comment questions or queries 
so you can comment below so we will see you in next session thank you